Thanks for joining me here today. It's Q&A with Travis Brady. So this message comes from Tommy. Tommy says, how do I handle the constant hecklers? I have a Facebook group and I've been getting a lot of people coming in and attacking my post. They're taking what I say and taking it completely out of context. I'm really frustrated, I've been angry. It's been keeping me up at night and I feel like I'm losing customers because of it. Okay, so he's a, a personal trainer. Um, which is where you know I began my journey at uh, over two decades ago, or I should I say two decades ago, about, was it been 15 years now? So it goes on, da 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 da. So, okay, great, great question. Okay, so uh, essentially he's asking, how, how do I handle this? How do I handle the, the haters? Okay, how do I uh, get rid of them? So first off, you can't get angry, okay? And um, that's, default for me or it was default for me is to to get angry get upset that's the the warrior inside of you right Tommy is you want to just punch them in the face because they've they've said things that weren't okay and uh, yeah it's it's what politicians do all the time right they take this one little sentence and then they run and create their own story and they create their own you know, uh, yeah, they create their own story off of it based upon whatever they want to be perceived through your, through what that person said, right? So it's becoming, uh, unfortunately, bigger and bigger in this world. And as an influencer and as a leader, you have to accept first and foremost that you are going to have the haters, right? You know, um, the common question is, yeah, how do you handle the, how do you handle the haters? How do you get no haters? It's not possible, okay? Jesus had Satan, right? We have all experienced the contrast in some way, in some form, right? And so you're, you're going to experience it. And if you don't want to experience it all, then here's what you need to do. Just lay in bed all day and don't do anything, okay? And that's probably not a choice, is it? Okay, to lay in bed and not do anything. So what you have to first accept is that you are going to get them, okay? And the more following you have, the, the higher the percentage, uh, not I shouldn't say higher the percentage, the more people, right? You know, people, uh, gosh, some people act like they're, half of their following is haters. <laughs> and so they uh, end up talking to the haters and whoever you talk to on social media tends to answer back. Right? And so we need to spend more time talking about our fans, talking about lovers, talking about the people that support us. And at the end of the day, you know, one of the biggest thing with uh, influencers and leaders um, of all kinds is your, your purpose is not about you. Or, or it is about you, it's not for you, right? Your, your message is for other people, it's to influence others. And the true definition of influence, and I've talked about this before, is how do others feel about themselves, okay? Not do, not what do they think about you, right? Not how they feel about you, and it's not how you feel about them. Okay, I can tell <laughs> you're pretty angry is, is, uh, is, yeah, it's a, it's a natural e emotion, right? And I would say uh, I've been addicted at time to angers. That was my default emotion. We tend to have an emotional state that we like to go to. We um, so often refer, uh, Tony Robbins refers to it as your emotional home. And we all have an emotional home that we'd like to get to. And it sounds like uh, from reading this post that your is anger, okay? And I totally um, understand that. They've said mean things, they've said things that aren't right, but getting angry just signifies that you're guilty, okay? Anger is an emotion that actually protects us, right? Um, you know, if we were to, uh, every emotion means something. And angry, angry means that our body needs to go into defense, it needs to attack to protect itself. So anytime you get angry, you're automatically suggesting that you're guilty. So attacking back, throwing words back, it's it's not helping. And uh, I don't know if you have done this or not, because um, you, you don't it doesn't say in the post that, that you've done that. However, um, you just you can't you can't attack back. Is is as much as you want to attack back, you just you can't attack you can't attack back. Okay. 
It's gonna make you look more guilty. Um, and your true fans are looking for a noble leader, a light leader, not a dark leader, okay? There's dark leaders and there's light leaders. And dark leaders, they, they tend to attract these people that are loyal for the wrong reasons, okay? They're not loyal for the right reasons, okay? You want real leaders. Real leaders create real leaders, okay? And a real leader needs to be light and positive and, and focusing on the true purpose, not attacking, okay? If you notice uh, in most movies, the good guy never just goes and tries to kill the other person, right? They always, um, if they do fight, it's because they have to. They have to protect. They don't want to. It's that they have to, okay? So don't, don't fight. Don't, don't attack them, okay? Um, essentially, you have to go along with the energy, okay? And I'll explain this here in just a second. You have to go with. Anytime we're fighting energy, Okay, we, it, it builds, it builds up, okay? We want to flow the energy in more of a positive. Um, I had someone who uh, attacked me um, a while ago on social media, and they were, uh, not just me, they were attacking uh, a lot of other people, and most people are, they're just reflectors, okay? They're reflecting how they feel on the inside, and. It's kind of like when you're having a great day, things are going awesome and someone's mean to you, you you're you're not going to let that get you off, right? You're not going to let them take take you off your energy, right? But you ever have those days where you're just you're upset, you're pissed off and and someone does the smallest thing to you and it just sets you off, right? Okay? So what you first have to understand is most people are reflecting for some reason. They want to feel significance. They want to feel heard. Maybe, uh, maybe they're not very happy, right? So, um, and, and it's not really your job to, to really understand. You know, a lot of people are like, why did they attack me? Why did they do this? You, you are the solution. It's about what you believe. It's about what you do. And I think as a society, we spend so much time looking elsewhere and trying to guess what that other person is thinking and feeling otherwise. Anyways, this person attacked me, right? And they, they, said, they said a lot of things. Um, in particular, they said, Travis doesn't get people results, right? And so I could have said, I could have fired back, yes I do, I get everyone results, but I just, I went with the energy. I'm going with the energy and in this uh, scenario was, you're right, not all my clients get results. I can't force people to follow a process. However, the people that do follow through, the people that are truly about giving in business and want to inspire and help people in the world, those are the people that get results. Those are the ones that go to the next level. I can't force anyone to do something, okay? I have a path that works. I have a system that works. And it's true, not everyone wins. Not everyone is successful. Not everyone chooses into that identity. Not everyone chooses to be successful, right? And so I took it and I could have fought against it, but I went along with it, okay? And this, I, I see this happen in the world is, you know, there's essentially three different scenarios that I see happen. You know, people will get attacked and they'll just spend their time fighting back, trying to prove they're right. And all they're really trying to prove is their ego. They're trying to protect themselves. Okay, stop trying to protect yourself. Okay, that's the first, that's the first mistake that people do is they instantly start protecting their own ego. Okay, part of being a king is allow yourself to be. It's not to think high of yourself. And of course, it's not to think low of yourself. It's not to think of yourself really at all, to have kind of a, a neutral, um, a, a neutral belief um, about you, and allow yourself to be. Just allow yourself to be. You know, we tend to get in our warrior and an attack. So the attack is the first one. The second one is we just we step into what I refer as the the dark shadow of the lover. We just let it sink us. We just don't we just don't do anything. We just start to play. Uh, play the pity party, right? You're right, I'm not good enough. And that tends to 
um, keep the conversation going that we've already created within our brains. We all have a, uh, we all always have a conversation within our brain and some people are really negative and they reflect what's on the inside to the outside. So when someone says it, it reconfirms the thought that we were actually already thinking, right? And, and so it builds evidence. So we let it sink us, okay? So you can fight it, you can do nothing, or you can find a way to go with it. And so what I would suggest is focus on what you do agree with, okay? Because there's not everything that they're saying is wrong. Focus on what you do agree with. Everyone has, um, Everyone has their own beliefs, their own experiences. And um, one of my mentors, uh, uh, I've had a lot of mentors. One of my most significant uh, mentors was Elliot Hulse. And uh, you guys should check him out on YouTube. He's an amazing mentor, an amazing influencer. And I thank him very much for everything that he has given me over the years. I, uh, I seriously can't say enough about um, him just as as a person this. So again, focus on what you, you do agree with them. So what I was saying is we all, yeah. So here's what, here's what I was going with this is we all have our own experiences and in our experiences, their truth, we've touched it, tasted it, felt it, all five senses, right? And so our experiences are very real to us and we tend to make decisions about who we are, about what the world is and about how the world operates based upon our experiences, okay? All they have to go off is your experiences. All you have to go off is your experiences at the end of the day, right? I mean, we can read information, we can, we can study, and that's all great, that's all logical stuff, but we're not really logical beings, are we? They actually say 5% of our actions are logical, which means 95% of our actions are in the subconscious and the subconscious is very heavily influenced by the body, right? We have our, our central nervous system. It's very heavily influenced. So hence why I say experiences really, really make up the mind. It's kind of like a flower, right? So we notice the rose at the top. We notice um, what it's bloomed into, but what has created that flower to bloom was actually the root, right? It's kind of like our, our brain. It is the flower. The root is the emotion, the experiences, right? So you can't, you have to accept um, what your quote unquote hater is saying. You have to accept that, that that is their truth. Okay. They, that's all they have to go off. Just like you, that's all you have to go off of. Right. And so choosing to go along with it and not fight it kind of like the example you're right not all my clients get results it's not my choice i'm not the devil the devil wants to force you to do stuff okay god um jesus whatever your belief is your your higher power it is it is your choice okay there is there is no force motivation is forced it's pushed okay a true influencer is uh is inspirational and when they do use motivation it's to push towards the the higher purpose okay and that's not about yourself so you got to really look at it from the 500 foot view and again not get emotionally charged and to go along with it you're right about this and here's why okay and, and go along with that energy and if you go along with it you actually make it more about the person and your purpose and influencing people than about yourselves. Anytime you start to uh, defend yourself, you've already lost, okay? A true king is in his being, he's in his being. He's not trying to protect himself. It's not about him, it's not about you, it's about your people and who you're trying to influence, right? Okay, so, so I guess takeaways from this, Tommy, is yeah, make it about your purpose. Make it about the people, okay? Um, if you choose to respond back, which if you, I've really noticed, um, you know, most of the big influencers that you see in the world, sports, uh, sport athletes, they don't respond to these people. They, they ignore them. 
okay? Ignore the hates. Don't let them know that they're bugging you because that's what they want. They want to get underneath want to get underneath your skin. Don't let them. Okay? Kill them by killing it in your business. Kill them by killing it in your life. Okay? Don't let it get off your path. All right. Hope that helped. Um, with everything that you're doing, keep influencing people. My man, you're going to do some great things in the world, but part of being a leader is uh, being able to handle the people that don't like you. And sometimes the best way to handle them is to not try to handle them at all. Okay. Be inspired in what you're doing, Tommy. Be next gen, and I truly believe that the world needs you.